when you know eggs are high in cholesterol or you're vegan, but you still love eggs like I do, then you want to listen to this. Hi guys, how are you? Excuse my eye. I don't I have this rash. It just won't go away. So I'm trying not to put on any makeup. I know I normally don't put a lot of makeup on anyway, unless I'm gonna go out. Then I like to put a lot of makeup on. But um I really wanted to share with you guys because as most of you know, well people that know me very well, I'm vegan and um very picky with what I eat when I'm actually cooking. When I'm in North Carolina, I tend to cook a lot more. I like to make everything from scratch. I try to use as less processed food as possible. Sometimes I have no choice. Sometimes I cheat a little bit, um, but I try to keep it as clean as possible. One of the ways that I do it is when I buy a product that if it lasts more than two weeks or three weeks in your cupboard or in your kitchen, well, that usually means that it has some synthetic products in there to, you know, give it more of a shell life and that can't be healthy for you. You know, our, um, there's too many ingredients, especially ingredients that you just can't read. So that usually is a red flag and I usually try not to use it. So when I buy something, I really look at the back and that's just what I do because I try to keep it as clean as possible, but I do like eggs and sometimes I do miss, I like a fried egg, but um, I love scrambled eggs. I know Mark does too. So I broke down and I bought this, just egg because I saw it on a video. And you know, I looked at the ingredients and it's made with mung bean protein. It has, you know, it has pressed canola oil, which is not good for you. And it's not the healthiest thing, but if you're concerned about um, cholesterol, it has no cholesterol, this is definitely a good option. And you're missing, you know, some scrambled eggs or something with eggs. This is definitely a good option. It does have a little bit less fat, um, has some protein. So, you know, it's not ideal, not in my book, but it's definitely better than eggs if you're worried about cholesterol or if you're vegan. So I wanted to try it. And I have to tell you, it is amazing. It tastes just like scrambled eggs. I do have something that I added to it and it gives it even more of an eggy flavor instead of using regular salt, which I normally use pink Himalayan salt because it's not processed, but this is also natural. So it has minerals. So it actually has benefits for you, health benefits. But I found this, I can't even pronounce this. So I'm not even gonna try, but here you can see it. It, if you open it and smell it, you could smell the egg. So it has like an eggy smell to it and you can make a yolk with it. I think you, I'll, I'll find the recipe because I, it's actually really good. I think it's like flour or I forgot what it is. You cook it and then you take a toast, like butter it up and it's just like the yolk. If you're into that, which I am, it's, you know, it, it's good for, to, you know, if, if you're if you're like craving it, it's good for to help a crave. But this is amazing. And I added some of that in my scrambled eggs. I put onions, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, uh, tomatoes, spinach, shiitake mushrooms. I cut it up because I don't like when it's like very chunky. So I cut it up and shiitake mushrooms, which are very good for you. Um, they shrink a lot. So it's just like a little bit and like natural onions. And I gotta tell you, it came out so good. So I recommend it. This is my, this is why I was so excited. I didn't even care about like showering or anything. I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys because it was really good. Oh, I put plant-based, I forgot, plant-based um, a cheese on top. So I melted on top of the, the omelet and it came out really good. So I feel like you guys should try it, whether you're vegan or not, it's a good alternative.